Today I'm going to talk about a condition called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, and the reason I'm going to talk about this is that I had a, a guy who came in a wheelchair to my summit this weekend, and some of you that are watching were there, and it was really good to meet you, and those that weren't here hope to meet you next year. But this gentleman who came to the summit um, was in remission for an entire year, and he was just doing two of the things that I'm going to recommend ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. So I told him I was gonna do a more complete video to give him some additional information. Now, when you look up this condition on the internet, there are site after site that pretty much talk about the prognosis. Um, it's a rapidly progressive neurodegenerative condition. Talk about you're gonna die in three to five years. Talk about the symptoms, uh, muscle wasting, difficulty speech, respiratory failure, atrophy of the muscles but they don't really get into what to do about this condition. So if you look at all the details of this condition and the fact that 30,000 people a year get it, well, that's, that's nice to know, but we wanna know how do we improve this condition? And this is what I'm gonna recommend. So some of the data I'm gonna tell you is based on my studies. So if you happen to have a, I don't know, a gerbil or hamster and they have this condition, definitely put them on this. But I think this data also applies to humans. Is this information going to cure you? I have no idea. Is it going to prevent the problem? I don't know. I don't even know if it's going to improve things. However, I do know there's a lot of information related to these nutrients in the support of the nervous system. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is 20,000 IUs of vitamin D. I'm going to put the links down below exactly what vitamin D is. It's probably the most important thing that you can take. Because if you are deficient, the progressive decline of your health is about four times as fast and you will not live as long. So vitamin D is crucial. Vitamin D is not really a vitamin. It's a steroid. It acts very similar to cortisol. And by the way, cortisol or prednisone, which is a synthetic version, is one of the main treatments for these autoimmune conditions. The next thing I would recommend is ketones. Get on the healthy version of the ketogenic diet. I put a link down below. Why? Because ketones support the nervous system and they protect their nervous system. Very important. I would also recommend taking MCT oil to raise your ketones for sure. Just start off by taking about a half a teaspoon. Don't take too much because it can create some digestive issues. Next thing, and very, very important is intermittent fasting. And this is good for any type of autoimmune condition because it lowers inflammation. And there's an inflammatory state in the nerve cells. Also, when you do intermittent fasting, you get a major improvement in your immune system, especially the stem cells, especially if you do periodic prolonged fasting. Next thing is zinc, very important in the immune system. Most people are deficient. Also, zinc will help protect against respiratory failure. But when you take zinc, it can throw off your copper. So I recommend you get a product that has both zinc and copper together. Read the back of the label, whatever the directions say to take, go ahead and follow that. B12 is also important because it supports the myelin around the nerve. Next thing is vitamin E. Make sure you get a natural version. Uh, a food complex vitamin E is a very powerful antioxidant. When you have this autoimmune condition, you're getting a lot of oxidation, a lot of free radicals, and that creates a lot of collateral destruction from the inflammation. So this can help mitigate that. All right, last thing is DHA. This is a type of omega-3 fatty acid. DHA makes up the structural part of the brain and the nervous system. So here you are having a progressive neurodegenerative condition, well, why not take the raw material necessary to help feed that? Last thing I would recommend is to get a really good water purifier so you're not drinking tap water because who knows what's in the water supply and the chemicals that you're exposed to. You wanna do organic, you wanna do very, very healthy, nutrient-dense foods, and you wanna minimize any exposure to chemicals. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.